Morning guys, it's Ryan here from Elite Almost Diagnostics. Uh, we've got a BMW X5 in the shop today. Uh, basically, a customer's complaint is that the driver's seat does not operate. Um, so here we have, uh, we'll try and go down with the seat. Um, nothing working, up with the seat, nothing working, back, nothing working, and then forward, nothing working. Um, the customer, as far as they're aware, there's nothing wrong with the car, they just bought the car. Um, they just asked us to take a look at this. So we grabbed the diagram, uh, quickly grab the diagram. There is a ground here and a ground here, um, a power supply here, and then two cam wires that obviously will work on the network. Um, it will be a body network on this one. So we have the ignition on. Uh, we're just checking the power supplies on this module. It has its own module underneath the driver's seat. Um, so we are going to quickly just check these. says uh, so we have nice power supply there and then a good ground there um, Basically, uh, I've checked the wiring from the uh, from the connector back here. Um, this one back here is an interconnector only for seat. Uh, basically, if we can unplug it, which hopefully we can. Um, the these two cam wires that operate the basically turn the module on. Um, they go into the pins in this connector. Uh, the top two right ones, if you can, if you can see that, just about, yep. So, the top two right ones there, they go in there. Now, the problem is with this, is that this mod, um, this connector, this side, actually doesn't have any pins in there. I'm not too sure if you can see it, but take my word for it, there is no pins in there. So, there is no wiring to this seat to turn on this can. Um, <laughs> this can signal basically to operate this module and um, that's why the seat doesn't work uh, so long story short i'm assuming that basically someone at some point has changed the seat um in this in this vehicle and um, that's what's uh, you know caused it not to work ultimately but what we can do is if we plug it all back in uh, which will store obviously the power on the ground so the module we obviously have connected up the the picoscope up there um, and then what we can do is, so at the moment we're tied in the back of them two CAN network wires. As you can see, we have um, zero volts on the uh, channel um, channel B, which is red channel, and channel A. We have about uh, 10.5 volts. Now this is a bias voltage being sent out by the actual module itself it will not operate on the canvas until it is being told to to operate basically it's a, in a sense a slave module um, so what we can do is luckily enough I've using the documentation that was on the other um, display a minute ago we can basically jump the can network into this this connector ultimately so by by jumping the can into it we can get it to operate ultimately um so this is what we're going to do so back here oh, i found the the splice pack uh under here only for offside rear drivers offside rear sorry passengers um which we're connected to so we're connected to the as you can see the green and then the the orange is it orange and yellow i think um in the back there uh, we have our jumper leads just here, so we grab our jumper leads. So we are uh, we are the red to the green and the white to the other one. So under here, uh, the red is that one there, which is the green. So we're going to plug that one in there. And then what we're going to do is plug the other one into the other one so it has its can high and its can low 
Right, so now we're plugged in the back of this. We should, now we have a decent counter signal when it's actually being operated, it should all operate. Look at that, fantastic. See, now functions. These do have electric headrests, which is pretty cool. Um, so you can actually raise the headrest out of them, which is quite cool. But yeah, long story short, that's basically what it was. Um, someone has changed the seat. Uh, obviously, the pin, the pins in the connector are in the wrong position. Um, so it's got no can to operate this module. Um, so it's not talking on the network at all, um, which is basically the issue. So what we're going to do is run a jumper wire underneath the carpet um, and tie into the can network at the at the module itself. Then this one will be done and fixed. Cheers, guys. Bye.